Blessed is our God always, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God. Glory to you, heavenly King, comforter, the spirit of truth, who are ever present and fill all things. Treasury blessings and giver of life, come and dwell within us. Cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, pardon our sins. Master, forgive our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O come, let us worship and bow down to God our King. O come, let us worship and bow down to Christ, our King and God. O come and let us worship and bow down to Christ himself, our King and our God. Give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my meditation. Give heed to the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For to you I will pray, my voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning I will direct it to you, and I will look up. For you are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness, nor shall evil dwell with you. The boastful shall not stand in your sight. You hate all workers of iniquity. You shall destroy those who speak falsehood. The Lord abhors the bloodthirsty and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into the house of your multitude of your mercy. In fear of you, I will worship towards your holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make the way straight before my face. For as there, no, there is no faithfulness in their mouth, their inward part is destruction. Their throat is an open tomb. They flatter with their tongue. Pronounce them guilty, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out into the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against you. But let all those rejoice who put their trust in you. Let them ever shout for joy, because you defend them. Let those also who love your name be joyful in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor, you will surround him as with a shield. Why do the nations raise, rage and the people plot vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed saying, Let us break their bonds in pieces and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall hold them in derision. Then he shall speak to them with his wrath, and in distress keep his displeasure. Yet I have set my king on my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree. The Lord has said to me, You are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance. And for the ends of the earth, your possessions shall break them with a rod of iron. You shall dash them to pieces like a potter's vessel. Now, therefore, be wise, O kings. Be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice and trembling. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry, and you perish in the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all those who put their trust in him. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me from my prayer? from the worlds of my cry. O oh my God, I cry out by day, and you answer not by night, and there is no relief for me. Yet you are enthroned in the holy place, O glory of Israel. In, your, in you, O our Father, trusted, they trusted, and you delivered them. To you they cried, and they escaped. In you they trusted, and they were not put to shame. But I am a, but I am a warm, and not a man, the scorn of men, despised by the people. All who see me scoff at me, they mock me with their parted lips. They wag their heads. He relied on the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him if he loves him. You have been my guide since I was first formed, my security at my mother's breast. To you I was committed at birth. From my mother's womb, you are my God. Be not far from me, for I am in distress. Be near, for I have no one to help me. Many bulwarks surround me. The strong bulls of Bet, Hassan, encircle me. They open their mouths against me like ravening and roaring lions. I am like water poured out. All my bones are racked. My heart has become like wax melting away with my bosom. My throat is dried up like baked clay. My tongue cleaves to my jaw, to the dust of 
to the dust of death you have brought me down. Indeed, many dogs surround me, a pack of evildoers closes in upon me. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They look on and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them, and for my vesture they cast lots. But you, O Lord, be not far from me. O my help, hasten to aid me. Rescue my soul from the sword, my loneliness from the grip of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, from the horns of the wild bulls, my wretched life. I will proclaim your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, give glory to him. Revere him, all you descendants of Israel. For he has not spurned nor disdained the wretched man in his misery, nor did he turn his face away from him. But when he cried out to him, he heard him. So be your gift while I utter praise in the vast assembly. I will fulfill my vows before those who fear him. The lowly shall eat their fill. They who seek the Lord shall praise him. May your hearts ever be merry. All the ends of the earth shall remember and return to the Lord. All the families of the nations shall bow down before him. For dominion is the, lo is the Lord's and the he rules the nations. To him alone shall bow down all who sleep in the earth. Before him shall bend all who go down in the dust. And to him my soul shall live. My descendants shall serve him. Let the coming generation be told of the Lord that they may proclaim to a people yet to be born the justice he has shown. Glory to the Father and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the age of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory, the, glory to thee, O God. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. <coughs> On the cross of Christ, the Lucifer hath been destroyed, and the power of the adversary hath been trodden down. For it is, was not an angel or man, but thou who did it did save us. Glory to thee. Now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. What shall we call thee, O full of grace? Shall we call the heaven, because thou did give rise to the Son of Righteousness? Or shall we call these paradise, because thou did bring forth the flower of incorruption? Or a virgin, because thou did remain without defilement? Or a pure mother, because thou did carry in the holy arms as a son the God of all? Therefore, plead with him that he may sa save our souls. <clears throat> Gentiles rage and the people imagine vain things. Like a sheep you have been led to slaughter, O Christ King. And like a guileless lamb, O King of all, you were nailed on the cross by lawless men for our sins, O lover of mankind. Glory to the Father. And the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. As you permitted the transgressors to arrest you, Lord, you said to them, even though you struck the shepherd, and scattered the sheep, namely my twelve disciples. I could summon more than twelve legions of angels, but I forbear so that the unknown and secret things that I showed you through my prophets may be fulfilled. Glory to you, Lord. He went out and spoke to the multitudes. Blessed is he who is concerned for the needy and the poor. The Let reading us is from. Attend. 
The reading is from the prophecy of Zechariah. Wisdom, let us attend. And I took my rod that was graced, and I broke it, and I annulled the covenant I had made with all the peoples. So it was annulled on that day, and the traffickers and the sheep who were watching, who were watching me knew it was the word of the Lord. Then I said to them, If it seems right to you, give me my wages, but if not, keep them. And they weighed it out as my wages thirty shekels of silver. Then the Lord said to me, Cast it into the treasury, the lordly price, at which I was paid off by them. So I took the thirty shekels of silver and cast them into the treasury in the house of the Lord. The reading is from St. Paul's epistle to the Galatians. Wisdom, let us attend. But God forbid that I should boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world has been crucified to me and to the world. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision avails anything but a new creation. And as many as walk according to this rule, peace and mercy be upon them and upon the Israel of God. From now on, let no one trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Brethren, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And to your spirit. <clears throat> the reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us attend. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. When morning came, all the chief priests and the elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And they bound him and led him away and delivered him to Pilate, the governor. When Judas, his betrayer, saw that he was condemned, he repented and brought back the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned in betraying innocent blood. They said, What is that to us? See to it yourselves. And throwing down the pieces of silver in the temple, he departed, and he went and hanged himself. But the chief priests, taking the pieces of silver, said, It is not lawful to put them into the treasury, since they are blood money. So they took counsel and bought with them the potter's field to bury strangers in. Therefore that field has been called the field of blood to this day. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken by the prophet Jeremiah, saying, And they took the thirty pieces of silver, the price of him on whom a price had been set by son of the sons of Israel. And they gave them for the potter's field, as the Lord directed me. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You have said so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and the elders, he made no answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many things they testify against you? But he gave them no answer, not even to a single charge, so that the governor wondered greatly. Now at the feast, the governor was accustomed to release for the crowd any one prisoner whom they wanted, and they had then a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release for you, Barabbas or Jesus, who is called Christ? For he knew that it was out of envy that they had delivered him up. Besides, while he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent word to him, Have nothing to do with that righteous man, for I have suffered much over him today in a dream. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the people to ask for Barabbas and destroy Jesus. The governor again said to them, Which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, Then what shall I do with Jesus, who is called Christ? They all said, Let him be crucified. And he said, Why? What evil has he done? But they all shouted all the more, Let him be crucified. So when Pilate saw that he was gaining nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. And the people all answered, His blood be on us and on our children. Then he released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus in the praetorium, and they gathered the whole battalion before him. And they stripped him, and put a scarlet robe upon him, and plaiting a crown of thorns, they put it on his head, and put a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spat upon him, and took the reed, and struck him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of his robe, and put his own clothes on him, and led him away to crucify him. As they went out, they came upon a man of Cyrene, Simon by name. This man they compelled to carry his cross. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull, they offered him wine to drink mingled with gall. When he tasted it, he would not drink it. When they had crucified him, they divided his garments among them by casting lots. Then they sat down and kept watch over him there. And over his head they put the charge against him, which read, This is Jesus, King of the Jews. 
Then two robbers were crucified with him, one on the right and one on the left. And those who passed by derided him, wagging their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and build it again in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. So also the chief priests with the scribes and the elders mocked him, saying, He saved others, he cannot save himself. He is the King of Israel, let him come down now from the cross and we will believe in him. He trusts in God, let God deliver him now if he desires him, for he said, I am the Son of God. And the robbers who were crucified with him also reviled him in the same way. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And some of the bystanders hearing it said, This man is calling Elijah. One of them at once ran and took a sponge, filled it with vinegar, and put it on a reed and gave it to him to drink. But the others said, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. And Jesus cried again with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit. And behold, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And the earth shook and the rocks were split and the tombs were also opened. And many of the bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming out of the tomb after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. When the centurion saw those who were with him, keeping watch over Jesus, saw the earthquake and what took place, they were filled with awe and said, Truly this was the Son of God. There were also many women there looking on from afar who had followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering to him, among whom were Mary Magdalene, and Mary, the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of the sons of Zebedee. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Direct my steps according to your word, and let no iniquity have dominion over me. And deliver me from the false accusion of men, and I shall keep you from commandments. Manifest your countenance to your servant, and teach me your statuses. Let my mouth be filled with your praise, O Lord, that I may sing hymns of glory and your majesty all day long. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, pardon our sins. Master, forgive our iniquities. Holy one, to visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us all praise him who was crucified for us. For Mary beheld him on the wood and said, Even though you endure the cross, you are my Son and my God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. The one who at all times and at every hour, both in heaven and earth, is worshiped and glorified. Christ our God, long suffering, plenteous in mercy and full of compassion, who loves the righteous and is merciful to sinners, calling all to salvation through the promise of the blessings to come. Receive our supplications in this present hour and direct our lives according to your commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, Set aright, set aright our minds, cleanse our thoughts, and deliver us from all affliction, evil, and distress. Surround us with your holy angels, that guided and guarded by their interposition, we may attain the unity of the faith and the knowledge of your ineffable glory. For you are blessed into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without defilement bore God the word, verily the Theotokos, you we magnify. 
In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. May God be merciful to us and bless us. May his face shine upon us and have mercy on us. O Christ, the true light, who illumines and sanctifies everyone who comes into the world, let the light of your countenance leave its mark on us, that in it we may behold the ineffable light and direct our steps aright to the keeping of your commandments through the intercessions of your all-pure Mother and of all the saints. Amen. O come, let us worship and bow down to God, our King. O come, let us worship and bow down to Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and bow down to Christ himself, our King and God. Plead my cause, O Lord, with those who strive with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Also draw out the spear and stop those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let those who put shame and brought to dishonor, who seek after my life, let those be turned back and brought to confusion who plot my hurt. Let them be like chaff before the wind, and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, with the angel of the Lord pursue them. For without cause they have hidden their net for me in a pit, which they have dug without cause for my life. Let destruction come upon him unexpectedly, and, his, and let his net which he, has fallen, which he has hidden catch himself. Into that the Lord which shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like you, who delivered the poor from him, who is too strong for him? Yes, the poor and needy from him who plunders him. Fierce witness rise up. They ask me things that I do not know. They reward me for good. They reward evil for good to the sorrow of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was a sackcloth. I humbled myself with fasting, and my prayer would return to my own heart. I paced about as though he were my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one who mourns for his mother. But in my adversary they rejoiced and gathered together. Attackers gathered against me, and I did not know it. They tore at me and did not cease. With ungodly mockers at peace, they gnashed at me with their teeth. Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue me from their distressions, my precious life from the lions. I will give you thanks in the great assembly. I will praise you among many people. Let them not rejoice over me, who are wrongfully my enemies. Nor let them know wink with the eye, who hate me without a cause. For they do not speak peace, but they devise deceitful matters against me, the quiet ones in the land. They also opened their mouths wide against me and said, Aha, aha, our eyes have seen it. This you have not seen, O Lord. Do not keep silence. O Lord, do not be far from me. Stir up yourself and awake to my vindication, to my cause, my Lord, my, my God, and my Lord. Vindicate me, O Lord, my God, according to your righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, we, so we would have it. Let them not say, we have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to mutual confusion, who rejoices at my hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonor, who exalts himself against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad, who favors my righteous cause. And let them say continuously, consciously, let the Lord be magnified, who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak your righteousness and your praise all the day long. Do not keep silent, O God, of my praise, for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful have opened against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They also sur surrounded me with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. In return for my love, they are my accusers, but I give myself to prayer. Thus they have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. Set a wicked man over him, and let an accuser stand at his right hand. When he is judged, let him be found guilty, and let his prayer become sin. Let his days become few, and let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless, and his wife a widow. Let his children continually be vagabonds and beg. Let them seek their bread also from their desolate places. Let the creditors seize all that he has, and let strangers plunder his labor. Let there be none to extend mercy to him, nor let there be any to favor his fatherless children. Let his posterity be cut off, and in the generation following, let their name be blotted out. 
Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered before the Lord, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be continually before the Lord, that he may be cut off the memory of them from the earth. Because he did not remember to show mercy, but persecuted the poor and needy man, that he might even slay the broken in heart. As he loved cursing, so let it come to him. As he did not delight in blessing, so let it be far from him. As he beclothed himself with cursing as with his garment, so let it enter his body like water and like oil into his bones. Let it be to him like the garment which covers him, and for a belt which, with which he girds himself continually. Continually, Let this be the Lord's reward to my accusers and to those who speak evil against my person. But you, O God, the Lord, deal with me for your name's sake. Because your mercy is good, deliver me. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. I am gone like a shadow when it lengthens. I am, shake, I am shaken off like a locust. My knees are weak through fasting, and my flesh is feeble from lack of fatness. I also have become a reproach to them. When they look at me, they shake their heads. Help me, O Lord, my God. O save me according to your mercy, that they may know that this is your hand, that you, Lord, have done it. Let them curse, but you bless. When they arise, let them be ashamed. But let your servant rejoice. Let my accusers be clothed with shame, and let them cover themselves with their own disgrace as with a mantle. I will gently praise the Lord with my mouth. Yes, I will praise him among the multitude. For he shall stand at the right hand of the poor to save him from those who condemn him. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin, for I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned, and done this evil in your sight, that you may be found just when you speak, and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part you will make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me your joy and gladness, that the bones you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create, me, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me by your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sin, sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show, show forth your praise. For you do not desire sacrifice, or else I would give it. You do not delight, you do not delight in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. These, O God, you will not despise. Do good in your, in your good pleasure to Zion, Build the walls of Jerusalem, and you shall be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness. With burnt offering and whole burnt offering, then they shall offer bullocks on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Judeans, O Lord, condemned me, the life, the life of all to death. The ones who crossed the Red Sea through the power of the staff nailed you to the cross, and those whom you suckled with honey from the rock brought you gall. But willingly you endured to free us from the bondage of the enemy. O Christ our God, glory to you. Now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. You are the true vine, O Theotokos, who bore the fruit of life. We implore you, together with the apostles, to intercede for mercy to be shed on our souls. For fear of the Jews, your friend and neighbor, Peter, 
denied you, Lord. Then he lamented and said, Do not be silent and at my tears. I know I said I would keep the faith, but I did not keep it. O merciful one, accept our repentance as well, and have mercy on us. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and understand my crying out. At the foot of your precious cross, O Lord, when the soldiers were mocking you, the hosts of angels were struck with wonder. For you who adorned the earth with flowers were the crown of insults, and who clothed the firmament in clouds were the robe of mockery. For through this dispensation your compassion was made known, O Christ, the great mercy, glory to you. Mm. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. As you were led to the cross, O Lord, you said and cried out thus, For which did do you wish to crucify me, O Jews? It is for bracing your paralytics, or for raising your dead as if from sleep. I cured the woman with the flow of blood. I had mercy on the Canaanite woman, for which of my deeds, which of my deeds do you wish to murder me, O Jews? But I will look on, you will look on me, the Christ who you now pierce, O transgressors of the law. For I am ready to be scourged, O Lord, rebuke me not in your wrath. Wisdom, let us be attentive. The reading is from the prophecy of Isaiah. Wisdom. The Lord God has given me the tongue of those who are taught, that I may know how to sustain with the word him that is weary. Morning by morning he wakens, he wakens my ear to hear those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I turned not backward, I gave my back to the smiters, and my cheek to those who pulled out the beard. I hid not my face from shame and spitting. For the Lord God helps me, therefore I have not been confounded. Therefore I have set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who is my adversary? Let him come near to me. Behold, the Lord God helps me. Who will declare me guilty? Behold, all of them will wear out like a garment. The moth will eat them up. Who among you fears the Lord and obeys the voice of his servant? Who walks in darkness and has no light, yet trusts in the name of the Lord and relies upon his God? Behold, all you who kindle a fire, who set brands alight, walk by the light of your fire and by the brands which you have kindled. This, this shall you have from my hand. You shall lie down in torment. Uh, the lessons from St. Paul's Epistle to the Romans. Let us be attentive. For why did Christ at the set time die for the wicked when as yet we were weak? For scarcely in behalf of just a man does one die, yet perhaps one might bring himself to die for a good man. 
But God commends his charity towards us because when as yet we were sinners, Christ died for us. Much more now that we are, just, we are justified by his blood, shall we be saved through him from the wrath. For if we, when we are, were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more having been reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. At that time, the soldiers led him away inside the palace, that is the praetorium, and they called together the whole battalion. And they clothed him in a purple cloak, and planting a crown of thorns, they put it on him. And they began to salute him, Hail, King of the Jews. And they struck his head with the reed and spat upon him, and they knelt down in homage to him. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. And they led him out to crucify him. And they compelled a passerby, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. And they brought him to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. And they offered him wine mingled with myrrh, but he did not take it. And they crucified him and divided his garments among them, casting lots for them to decide what each should take. And it was the third hour when they crucified him, and the inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. And with him they crucified two robbers, one on his right and one on his left. And those who passed by derided him, wagging their heads and saying, Aha! You who will destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself and come down from the cross. So also the chief priest mocked him to one another with the scribe saying, He saved others, he cannot save himself. Let the Christ, the King of Israel, come down now from the cross that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also reviled him. And when the sixth hour had come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And some of the bystanders hearing it said, Behold, he's calling Elijah. And one ran, and filling a sponge full of vinegar, put it on a reed and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to take him down. And Jesus uttered a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And when the centurion who stood facing him saw that he thus breathed his last, he said, Truly, this man was the Son of God. There were also women looking on from afar, among whom were Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James the Younger and also Joseph and Salome, who when he was in Galilee followed him and ministered to him, and also many other women who came up with him to Jerusalem. Glory to you, forbearance, O Lord. Glory to you. The Lord God is blessed. Blessed be the Lord day after day. May the God who saves lead us on to our salvation. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, pardon our sins. Master, forgive our iniquities. O holy one, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the, uh, and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us all praise him who was crucified for us. For Mary beheld him on the wood and said, even though you endure crucifixion, you are my son and my God. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. 
the one who at all times and at every hour, both in heaven and earth, is worshiped and glorified, Christ our God, long-suffering, plenteous in mercy, and full of compassion, who loves the righteous and is merciful to sinners, calling all to salvation through the promise of the blessings to come, accept our supplications in this present hour, and direct our lives according to your commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, set aright our minds, cleanse our thoughts, and deliver us from all affliction, evil, and, dis and distress. Surround us with your holy angels, that guided and guarded by their interposition, we may, we may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of your ineffable glory. For you are blessed unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without defilement bore God the word. Verily the Theotokos, you we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. May God be merciful to us and bless us. May his face shine upon us and be merciful to us. O God and Master, Father Almighty, Lord, only begotten Son, Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit, one Godhead, one power, have mercy on me, a sinner. And by the judgments known to you, save me, your unworthy servant. For you are blessed unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship and bow down to our God and King. O come, let us worship and bow down to Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and bow down to Christ himself, our King and God. Save me, God, by your name. Save me and vindicate me by your strength. By my prayer, O God, give ears to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and oppressors have sought after my life. They have not set God before them. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is with those who uphold my life. He will repay my enemies, for their evil cut them off in your truth. I will freely sacrifice to you. I will praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For he has delivered me out of trouble in my eyes, has seen its desire upon my enemies. Deliver me, O Lord, from evil. Men preserve me from violent men who plan evil things in their hearts. They continually gather together for war. They sharpen their tongues like a serpent. The poison of asps is under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the hand of the wicked. Preserve me from violent men who have purposed to make my steps stumble. The proud have hidden a snare for me in cords. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set traps for me. I say to the Lord, you are my God. Hear the voice of my supplications. O Lord, O God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation. You have covered my head in the day of battle. Do not grant, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. Do not further his wicked scheme, lest they be exalted. As for the head of those who surround me, let the evil of their lips cover them. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits that they rise up, not up again. Let not a slander be established in the earth. Let evil hunt the violent men to overthrow him. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted in justice for the poor. Surely the righteous shall give thanks to your name. The upright shall, shall dwell in your presence. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror of the night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look, and see the reward of the wicked. 
because you have made the Lord who is my refuge. Even the Most High, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near you, your dwelling. For he shall give you his angels charge, his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall thread up upon the lion and the cobra, the, the young lion and the serpent you shall, shall, you shall trample underfoot because he has set his love upon me. Therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, glory to you, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Christ our God, you have worked salvation in the midst of the, of the earth. You stretched out your pure hands on the cross, gathering together all the nations, as they cry out, O Lord, glory to you. Now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. Having no boldness for the multitude of our sins, O Virgin Theotokos, implore him, who was born of you. For the prayer of the mother avails much in gaining the favor of the master. Do not overlook the entreaties of sinners, O all pure one, for he who con condescended to suffer for us is merciful and able to save. The says the Lord to the Jews, all my people, what have I done to you? How have I upset you? I gave sight to your blind. I cleanse your lepers. I raise the man who lay paralyzed on his bed. O oh, my people, what have I done to you? And how have you repaid me? Instead of manna, you fed me. Instead of water, you gave me vinegar. Instead of loving me, you nailed me to the cross. So I will no longer hold back. But I will call my Gentiles, and they will glorify me. And the Father and the Spirit, and I will grant them eternal life. In my food they gave me gall and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink you lawgivers of israel judeans and pharisees the company of the apostles cries out to you behold the temple that you have destroyed Behold the Lamb that you have crucified. You gave him over to the tomb, but of his own power he arose. Do not be deceived, for it is he who saved you in the sea and fed you in the wilderness. 
shall be very high. As many were astonished at him, his appearance was marred beyond, humble, beyond human semblance and his form beyond that of the sons of men. So shall he startle many nations. Kings shall shut their mouths because of him. For that which has not been told to them, they shall see, and that which they have, heard, have not heard, they shall understand. Who has believed what we have heard? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For he grew up before him like a young plant, and like a root out of dry ground. He had no form or comeliness that we should look at him, and no beauty that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by most men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And as one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised, and, was, and we esteem him not. Surely he was born our griefs, and carried our sorrows. Yet we have seen him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. Upon him who was, who was the chastisement that made us whole, and with his stripes we, were, we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth, like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before its shares is dumb. So he opened not his mouth by oppression and judgment. He was taken away, and as for his generation, who considered that he was out of the land of the living, stricken for the transgressions of my people. And they made his grave with the wicked and with the rich man in the death. Although he has done no violence, and there is no deceit in his mouth, yet it was the will of the Lord to bruise him. He was put; he has put him to grief. When he makes himself an offering for sin, he shall see his offspring. He shall prolong his days. The will of the Lord shall prosper in his hands. He shall see the fruit of the traveler, 
of his soul and be satisfied by his knowledge shall the righteous one my servant make many to be accounted righteous and he shall bear their iniquities therefore i will divide i will divide him a portion with the great and he shall divide the spoil with the strong because he poured out his soul to the death and was numbered with the transgressors yet he bore the sins of many and made intercession for the transgressors Sing, O barren, O did not bear, break forth into singing and cry aloud, you who have not been in, tra in travail. For the children of the desolate one will be more than the children of her that is married, says the Lord. The reading is from St. Paul's Epistle to the Hebrews. Wisdom, let us attend. Brethren, both who sanctifies and those who are being sanctified are all of one, for which, which reason he is not ashamed to call them brethren, saying, I will declare your name to my brethren in the midst of the assembly. I will sing praise to you, and again I will put my trust in him. And again, here I am, uh, here I am, and the children whom God has given me. And as much then as the children have partaken of the flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared in the same that through death he might destroy him, who had the power of death that is the devil and release those who through fear of death were all the lifetime subject to bondage. For indeed he does not give aid to angels, but he does give aid to the seed of Abraham. Therefore in all things he had to be made like his brethren, that he might be merciful and high, and high priest and things pertaining to God, to make propitiation for the sins of the people, for in that he himself has suffered being tempted, he is able to aid those who are tempted. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Let us attend. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. At that time, two others also who were criminals were led away to be put to death with him. And when they came to the place which is called the Skull, there they crucified him and the criminals, one on the right and one on the left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they cast lots to divide his garments. And the people stood by watching, but the ruler scoffed at him, saying, He saved others, he let him save himself, if he is the Christ of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him vinegar, and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged railed at him, saying, are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And indeed we justly, for we are receiving the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And he said to him, Truly I say to you, Today you will be with me in paradise. It was now about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour, while the sun's light failed and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And having said this, he breathed his last. Now when the centurion saw what had taken place, he praised God and said, Certainly this man was innocent. And all the multitudes who assembled to see the sight, when they saw what had taken place, returned home beating their breasts. And all his acquaintances and the women who had followed him from Galilee stood at a distance and saw these things. Glory to your forbearance, O Lord. Glory to your Swiftly, swiftly let your tender mercies come upon us, O Lord, for we are greatly impoverished. 
let help us, O God, our Savior, for the glory of your name. Lord, deliver us and forgive us our sins for your name's sake. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, pardon our sins. Master, forgive our iniquities. O Holy One, visit our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us all praise him who was crucified for us. For Mary beheld him on the wood and said, even though you endure crucifixion, you are my son and my God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. The one who at all times and at every hour, both in heaven and earth, is worshiped and glorified, O Christ God, long-suffering, plenteous in mercy, and full of compassion, who loves the righteous and is merciful to sinners, calling all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come, Accept our supplications in this present hour and direct our lives according to your commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, set aright our minds, cleanse our thoughts, and deliver us from all affliction, evil, and distress. Surround us with your holy angels that guided and guarded by their interposition, we may attain the unity of faith and the knowledge of your ineffable glory. For you are blessed unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and into the ages of ages, amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim, who without defilement bore God the word, verily the Theotokos, you do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. May God be merciful to us and bless us. May his face shine upon us and be merciful to us. O God, Lord of hosts, author of all creation, out of the depths of your ineffable mercy sent down your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, the salvation of our race, and by his precious cross tore up the record of our sins, and thereby triumphed over the principles and powers of darkness. Accept also, O loving Master, the fervent prayers of us sinners. Deliver us from every evil and dark transgression, from all visible and invisible enemies who seek to do us harm. Transfix our bodies in the fear of you. Incline not our hearts to evil words or thoughts but pierce our souls with desire for you, that always looking up to you, we may be guided by your light and beholding you, the ineffable and everlasting light. We may offer unceasing praise and thanksgiving to the Father who has no beginning, together with your only begotten Son and your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship and bow down to God, our King. O come, let us worship and bow down to Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and bow down to Christ himself, our King and God. Save me, O God, for the waters have come up to my neck. I sink, it, I sink in deep mire where there is no standing. I have come in deep waters where the floods overflow me. I am weary with my crying. My throat is dry. My eyes fail while I wait for my God. Those who hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. They are mighty who would destroy me, being my enemies wrongfully. Though I have stolen nothing, I still must restore it. O oh God, you know my foolishness, and my sins are not hidden from you. Let not those who wait for you, O oh Lord, God of hosts, be ashamed because of me. Let not those who seek you be confounded because of me, O oh God of Israel. Because of your sake, I have borne reproach. Shame has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my brothers and an alien to my mother's children. Because zeal for your house has eaten me up, and the reproaches of those who reproach you have fallen on me. When I wept as chastened, my soul and fasted, that became my reproach. I also made sackcloth my garment. I became a byword to them. Those who sit in the gate speak against me, and I am the song of the drunkards. But as for me, my prayer is to you. 
O Lord, in the acceptable time, O God, in the multitude of your mercy. Hear me in the truth of your salvation. Deliver me out of mire, and let me not sink. Let me, del let me be delivered from those who hate me, and out of the deep waters. Let not the flood waters overflow me, nor let the deep swallow me up. Let not the pit shut its mouth on me. Hear me, O Lord, for your loving kindness is good. Turn to me according to the multitude of your tender mercies, and do not hide your face from your servant, for I am in trouble. Hear me speedily, draw near to my soul, and redeem it. Deliver me because of my enemies. You know my reproach, my, my shame, and my dishonor. My adversaries are all before you. Reproach has broken my heart, and I am full of heaviness. I looked for someone to take pity, but there was none, and for comforters, but I have found none. They also gave me gal for my food, and for my thir thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let their table become a snare before them, and their well-being a trap. Let their eyes be darkened so that they do not see, and make their loins shake continually. Pour out your indignation upon them, and let your anger take hold of them. Let their dwelling place be desolate. Let no one live in their tents, for they, for they persecute the ones you have struck and talk of the grief of those you have wounded. Add iniquity to their iniquity, and let them not come into your righteousness. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living, and not be written with the righteous. But I am poor and sorrowful. Let your salvation, O God, set me up on high. I will raise the name of God for a song, and will magnify him with thanksgiving. This also shall please the Lord better than an ox or bull, which has horns and hooves. The humble shall see this and be glad, and you who seek God, your hearts shall live. For the Lord hears the poor and does not despise his prisoners. Let heaven and earth praise him, the seas and everything that moves in them. For God will save Zion, build the cities of Judah, and they will dwell there and possess it. Also the descendants of his servants shall inherit, and those who love his name shall dwell in it. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and confounded who seek my life. Let them be turned back and confused who desire my hurt. Let them be turned back because of their shame, who say, Aha, aha. Let all those who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. And let those who love your salvation say continually, Let God be magnified. But I am poor and needy, maced. Make haste, O God. You are my hope and my deliverer, O Lord, do not delay. Bow down your ear, O Lord, hear me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am holy. You are my God, save your servant who trusts in you. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for I cry to you all day long. Rejoice, rejoice the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, Lord, are good and ready to forgive, and abundant in mercy to all those who call upon you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble I will call upon you, for you will answer me. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, nor are there any works like your works. All nations whom you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. Teach me your way, O Lord. I will walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I will praise you, O Lord, my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify your name forevermore. For great is your mercy towards me, and you have delivered my soul from the depths of Sheol. O God, the proud have risen against me, and a mob of violent men have sought my life, and have not set you before them. But you, O Lord, are a God full of compassion and gracious long-suffering and abundant in mercy and truth. O oh, turn to me and have mercy on me. Give your strength to your, give strength to your servant and save the son of your maidservant. Show me a sign for good that those who hate me may see it and be ashamed because you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When the thief beheld the author of life hanging on the cross, he said, If he who was crucified with us was not God incarnate, the Son would not have hidden his rays, neither the earth have quaked with trembling. 
but all for bearing, Lord, remember me in your kingdom, now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. You who were born for us a virgin and suffered crucifixion, O gracious one, who despoiled death by death, and as God revealed resurrection, overlook not those whom you have created with your own hand. Show forth your love for mankind, O merciful one. Accept your birth giver, the Theotokos. Intercede for us and save a despairing people, O our Savior. my garments among them, and upon my vesture they cast lords. When the transgressors nailed you, the Lord of glory to the cross, you cried out to them, in what have I grieved you, or in what have I angered you? Who was it before me that delivered you from affliction? And now how have you repaid me? Evil instead of blessings, instead of the pillar of fire, you nailed me to the cross. Instead of the cloud you dug for me a grave, instead of water you gave me vinegar to drink. Henceforth I will Gentiles, and they will glorify me together with the Father and the
Today is hung upon the cross. He who suspended the earth amid the waters. A crown of thorns crowns him who is the king of the earth. He who wrapped the heavens in clouds is clothed with the purple of mockery. transfixed with nails who is the bridegroom of the church he was pierced with the lambs who is the son of the virgin we We worship your passion, O Christ. Cross also your glorious resurrection. Today, he who sighs
is pierced, is pierced with a spear. We worship your passion, O Christ. We worship your passion, O Christ. We worship, we worship your passion, O Christ. Show us, also show us your glory, us resurrection. said in his heart, there is no God. There is none that does good, not even one. The reading is from the prophecy of Jeremiah. In wisdom let us be attentive. The Lord made it known me, and I knew. Then you showed me their evil deeds. But I was like a gentle lamb led to the slaughter. I did not know it was against me that they devised evil schemes, saying, let us destroy the tree with its fruit and cut, cut him off from the land of the living that his name be remembered no more. But, O Lord of hosts, who judges right, righteously, who tries the, the heart and the mind, let me see your vengeance upon them. For to you I have committed my cause. Therefore, thus says the Lord concerning the men of An Anah, who seek your life, and say, do not, do not prophesy in the name of the Lord, or you will die by our hand. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will punish them. The young men shall die by the sword. Their sons and daughters shall die by famine, and none of them shall be left. For I will bring evil on the men of Anoth, the year of their punishment. You indeed, O Lord, are just. When I complain to you, yet I would plead my case before you. Why does the way of the wicked prosper? Why do all your treacherous thrive? You planted them, and they take, their, and they take root. They grow, they go and bring forth fruit. You are near in their mouth and far from their heart. But you, O oh Lord, know me. You see me and try, and try my heart toward you. Pull them out like sheep for the slaughter and set them apart for the day of slaughter. How long will the land mourn and the grass of, of every field wither? For the wickedness of those who dwell in them, the beasts and the birds are swept away because men said, he will not see our latter end. Go assemble all the wild beasts. Bring them to devour. Many shepherds have destroyed my vineyard. They have trampled down my portion. They have made my pleasant portion a desolate wilderness. They have made it a desolation. Desolate, it mourns me. The whole land is desolate, but no man lays to it to heart. Thus says the Lord concerning all my evil neighbors who touch the heritage. I have given my people Israel to inherit. Behold, I will pluck them out, of, out from their land, and I will pluck up the house of Judah from among them. And after I have plucked them up, I will again have compassion on them, and I will bring them again, each to his heritage, and each to his land. The reading is from St. Paul's Epistle to the Hebrews. In wisdom, let us be attentive. Therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way which he consecrated for us through the veil that is his flesh. And having a high priest over the house of God, let us draw near a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Letting for, let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he will pro, who promised his, is faithful. And let us consider one another in order to stir up love in good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, so much the more as you see the day approaching. 
For if we sin willfully, having received the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a certain fearful expectation of judgment, a fury and indignation which will devour the adversaries. Anyone who has rejected Moses' law dies without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. Of how much worse punishment do you suppose will he be thought worthy who has trampled the Son of God underfoot, counted the blood of the com covenant which he has sanctified? A common thing and ins insulted the spirit of grace, for we know him who said, Vengeance is mine, I will, repay, I will repay, says the Lord. And again, the Lord will judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. At that time, when the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his garments and made four parts, one for each soldier, also his tunic. But the tunic was without seam, woven from top to bottom, so they said to one another, Let us not tear it, but cast lots for it to see whose it shall be. This was to fulfill the scripture, They parted my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. So the soldiers did this. But standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her to his own home. After this, Jesus, knowing that all was now finished, said to fulfill the scripture, I thirst. A bowl full of vinegar stood there, so they put the sponge full of the vinegar on his hop and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished, and he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Since it was the day of preparation in order to prevent the bodies from remaining on the cross on the Sabbath, for that Sabbath was a high day, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs might be broken and that they might be taken away. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and of the other who had been crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and at once there came out blood and water. He who saw it has borne witness. His testimony is true, and he knows that he tells the truth, that you also may believe. For these things took place that the scripture might be fulfilled, not a bone of him shall be broken. And again another scripture says, they shall look on him whom they have pierced. Glory to your forbearance, O Lord. Glory to you. Do not forsake us utterly for your holy name's sake, and do not annul your covenant. Take not away your mercies from us for the sake of Abraham, your beloved, and Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, pardon our sins. Master, forgive our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us all praise him who was crucified for us. For Mary beheld him on the wood and said, Even though you endure the cross, you are my Son and my God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. The one who at all times and at every hour, both in heaven and earth, is worshiped and glorified, O Christ our God, long-suffering, plenteous in mercy, and full of compassion, who loves the righteous and is merciful to sinners, calling all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come, accept our supplications in this present hour, and direct our lives according to your commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, set aright our minds, cleanse our thoughts, and deliver us from all affliction, evil, and distress. Surround us with your holy angels, that guided and guarded by their interposition, we may attain the unity of faith and the knowledge of your ineffable glory. For you are blessed unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without defilement bore God the word. Verily the Theotokos, you do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. May God be merciful to us and bless us. May his face shine upon us and be merciful to us. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, forbearing with our faults and having brought us even to the present hour in which, hanging on the life-giving cross, you prepared the way for the grateful thief to enter paradise and by death destroyed death. Have mercy on us, your sinful and unworthy servants, for we have sinned and have transgressed, and are not worthy to lift up our eyes and look towards the heights of heaven. For we have departed from the path of your righteousness and have followed the desires of our own hearts. But we implore you in your infinite goodness, spare us, O Lord, according to the multitude of your mercies, and save us for the sake of your holy name, for our days have been wasted, consumed in vanity. Rest us from the hand of the adversary, forgive us our sins, and mortify our carnal thoughts, that casting off the old man, we may be clothed with the new, and so live for you, our master and guardian. And thus, following your ordinances, we may attain to eternal rest in the abode of all those who rejoice. For you are in verity the true joy and exaltation of those who love you, O Christ our God, and to you ascribe glory, together with the Father who is without beginning, and your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. In your kingdom, in your kingdom remain for us. O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day, according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets, and one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, 
I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Pardon, remit, and forgive, O Lord, our intentional and unintentional faults by word or deed, wittingly or unwittingly, those by night and those by day, those of the mind and those of the senses. And forgive us all, for you are good and loving Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us all praise him who was crucified for us. For him, Mary beheld on the tree and said, Even though you suffer crucifixion, you are my Son and my God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May the name of the Lord be blessed from this time forth and evermore. May the name of the Lord be blessed from this time forth and evermore. May the name of the Lord be blessed from this time forth and evermore. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make, it, make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from my fears. They looked to him, and they were radiant, and their faces were not ashamed. The poor man cried out, and the Lord heard him, and saved him from all of his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him, and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. O oh, fear the Lord to you, his saints. There is no want to those who fear him. The, the young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is the man who desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears, and delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to those who have, bro who have a broken heart, and saves such as, the con ha as have a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He guards all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants, and none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. 